Okay, if everybody in this class had a bowl of cereal, and I had less than everybody else, I would say I have the least cereal. So there's little that refers to amount. And then there's little that refers to size. So if I were to compare my two cats, I would say Finn, the kitten, is littler than Monet, the adult cat. Okay? But if I compared all three of my animals, including my dog, I would say Finn is the littlest of my pets because I'm comparing more than two. Why would you say smaller? You could. You could because, of course, there's synonyms, so you're not locked into little. But I want you to see when little is used, there's little that refers to size and little that refers to amount. So there's a couple of rules. I just want to go over these. Lucy, can you read the first one after the list? Don't mix more in those with E-R and E-S-T. Okay, so you wouldn't say that she's more beautiful. -er. Okay, she's more beautiful. You're not going to mix more with with the suffix. Okay, what's the second rule, Jacob? Don't use the superlative adjective unless the comparison is uh, more than two times. So you're not going to say, um, okay, Catherine, Josh, and Christian had a race, and Josh was the fastest. That's not because we're true. only <laughs> comparing the two of them. So Josh and Christian had a race, and Josh was faster. If it's more now, Josh raced everybody in the class, and he was fastest. If it's more than two, that's okay. Okay, um, Bill, what's the last rule? Um, don't add E R or E S T to endings for words longer than two syllables. So if the word is longer, if it's got three or more syllables, you're not going to add E R E S T just because it sounds awkward. Okay. The okay. The biggest, most awesome word. <laughs> that sounds exactly right. That's what okay. I to say. Lots of banned words. So we're going to do these exercises in class because you're going to have a section of this on your test. Maddie. Okay, my question was, if it says splendid and delighted up top, it has ED, so you wouldn't add suffixes to the ones that have ED, right? Um, no, no. So there's some little rules like that that you can say. Okay. Okay. Usually it's the how does it sound. And then that whole syllable world. So let's do okay. number one. Logan, why don't you read that for us and correct it? These are the most oh, goodness. these are the most smallest C's I've ever seen. So how would you correct that? These Just are the smallest. Most. most. So you don't want to compare most and a suffix of EST. So these are the smallest C's I've ever seen. Um Jonathan, can you do two? Uh, okay, James is fast, but William is Faster, just like um, we gave that example a minute ago. Okay, number three, Olivia, can you do that? You can just read it as you would correct it. So in this case, you're not going to use most for the superlative. You're going to add the suffix est. So what would you say? Peas are the earliest vegetable. Peas are the earliest vegetable that we plant. Okay. Again, how does that sound? Most early sounds weird. Okay. Um, Caroline, number four. Yeah, now here's where the sound test breaks down because number four sounds oh. fine, but you're only comparing two dogs. So what should your ending be? Scott is larger and stronger. Okay, hold on. Oh, okay, so larger and stronger. Larger and stronger. So that's the one you really, if you can get in your mind, two, you're comparing two things, it's going to be ER. Okay, um, Catherine, number five. This is a terrible sign I ever saw. That's something I would say, but yeah, it's a sounds... terrible, You're not going to add the ending EST. Tear it both. It's more than two syllables. So, what are you going to say? It was the most terrible sign ever saw. It was the most terrible sign I ever saw. So, if it's a long word, you're going to add most or more. And then, number six, Josh. Wow. More careful. Alice is 
careful. more careful than Irene. I mean, careful no. sounds a lot better. Now, I'm going to tell you, I think that you guys are going up the air where people like to create words. Oh, and sure. they and sometimes you create words by adding EST or ER, but I'm just telling you grammatically this is what is correct and this is what you would do if you wrote. Okay? And this would give you a hundred on the composition words. It would. Absolutely. Okay, so um, I'm going to give you a review sheet. I am not going to check this off tomorrow. But this is strongly recommended for you doing well on the test. You can work on it in class. Um, and here's how I would suggest you do this. Um, don't, no, don't. Yeah, thank you. I miss anyways. Okay, wait. I'm handing out and I'm talking. I'm giving you directions as I hand this out. So you are, I would suggest you do this without your notes. See how much you know. In fact, you could treat this as a pretest because if you do this and you understand this, you are. Anybody have a donate? Does somebody want to donate to me? If you do this and understand it, you will find the test extraordinarily easy. Okay? So the test is a little bit longer. There's something I need to bring to your attention on this. If you'll turn to the third page, look at number eight. You will have a section like this on the test. People struggled with this on the last test, but I did forget to write in the letters. So if you could write A over cards, B over which, C over people, D over R, E over nutritious, and F over vegetables. Over where? Oh, this is number eight. Oh, this is like in the ERBs. You said this. Oh, you no, were going to check. Mrs. Smith and I are trying to do some things that are ERB-ish just to help you guys. No. I, hate I do. I do. Okay. okay. I don't love. I don't love ERBs, but they are a part of our world here. Okay. The other thing I need you to do, and this may not make a difference to you, but it's a huge difference. Number eight says identify the parts of speech. It should say identify the parts of the sentence. So if you can change that, identify the parts of speech should be identify the parts of the sentence. And let me tell you why this is important. Noun is a part of speech, but noun has nine different ways, eight different ways it can be used. So parts of sentence would be subject, predicate adjective, direct object, predicate nominative, object of a preposition. So it's the names of sentences, the parts of sentences. And I think everything else is pretty straightforward. Josh. Um, in just a minute, in just a minute. Okay, Jacob. Okay, hold on. Catherine, I will take your hand. Put it away. I will take, I've never said that to a student, but I will take your hand. Okay, so look very carefully, Jacob, because it would seem that that's a predicate adjective, but it actually is modifying a predicate nominative. Okay? Okay, so, Christian, question? Uh, you said the uh, A, B, C, D, F, A. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Josh? <coughs> I'm dying. I really need to go. Okay, go. Josh needs to go. Okay, so the last thing I want to go over before I um, turn you loose to your computer is your descriptive paragraph. So Wait, we're supposed to type that poem again? Catherine, you just interrupted. So I'm going to go over that. Okay, just listen. So, yes, you should be typing it. When you type it, this is a poem, so I'm not making a big deal out of punctuation, capitalization. I'm giving you a great deal of creative license, but there's some things that stay the same. People who type poetry naturally want to do different fonts because poetry is creative. But we're going to stay with the Caldwell Standard, which is Times New Roman. Okay? I already wrote the whole thing. Are you guys okay? No, we're not. Do you need paper towels? There may not have been a leakage. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh. We didn't even notice it. You don't sigh like that. Oh, I got chills. Oh, you yeah, wish you had a hand for us. I wish you had a hand for us. I wish you had a hand for us.
Okay, I, I hardly see why everybody over here should be talking when they're doing that. And girls, can you do it without talking? Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. You need to double space. I don't care, Ben, if it is left aligned or right aligned or center aligned. Okay? But if you've got to double space, I am surprised at how challenging this has been. You have a left hand MLA heading, your name, my name, subject and date. Here's how you write the date, there's no commas in it. But you also have a right hand heading. Can anybody tell me what is the right hand heading according to MLA, Olivia? No. Your last name with the page number. And I have not seen, well, there's one student who may go to a second page. But most of you are just gonna have one page. Okay? You need a title. I am not grading you on the cleverness of your title, but do not write descriptive paragraph. Can I do Dear Little Rock? Yes, you can take a line. Yes. What? We ran out of paper. Okay. It's like okay. it's it was really a big spill. Down <laughs> green, you know better than me. I thought it was close. It's okay, no worries. Catherine, do you still have a question? Um, so basically, Mom made me write it this weekend, and I've already done the whole thing, but I double spaced it. Voice type that in or do I have to retype? Voice type it, Catherine. You it, can highlight it. There. It needs to be double spaced. If you it's like, it's like, I did it, and then I skipped one. I did it, and then I skipped one. So I actually wrote it. I double spaced it while I wrote it. Because I did it on You're saying you handwritten wrote it. It has to be typed. It has to be typed. Every writing assignment that you turn in has to be typed. Okay? I did so much work. I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so oh sorry. I was trying to get ahead and now I'm just blind. Catherine, so you're not. You're not. not. Okay. Go to your work. Josh. Okay. Josh, it's right No, no. Josh. You got it. Would you sit down? No. Sit there. Caroline. Belle, I'm asking you to do it without talking. Okay, can I just say something? Belle and Caroline, sit down. Nobody's going to die from water on the floor. I will get Maria to come in here. Nobody's going to die. Okay? Belle, thank you for being so conscientious. I will take care of it in a minute. You guys are already down to 20 minutes. Okay? My other class has got 30 minutes. That's how quickly this should go. Okay. Other questions? Anna Grace. So, I need to retype because I forgot my um, name, but over here, Sister Pam, I like make a key. If you make a key. On the paper right here. Yes. Uh, so like is all my adjectives, the blue is my auto Okay, auto can I just make this a little bit simpler for you guys? Just highlight your adjectives. I, I'm gonna recognize alliteration, I'm gonna recognize the simile and metaphor. The Wait, just so we, highlight we your adjectives. That would be very helpful. What? what okay, so what you're gonna need, you will need that rubric that I gave you your final draft, and then you will attach it to your first draft that has the editing paper on it. It's on your rubric. It's on your rubric. So, look at your rubric. And you guys, I've had several people ask me about length. I am not concerned about your length. If you have all of those elements, if you have 14 adjectives and a simile or a metaphor, and you appeal to at least three sentence words. I there's no minimum or maximum number of sentences. Mm -hmm. Will you be counting adjectives, clauses, or phrases? Yes, if you highlight it, I will count it. Okay. Okay. So at this point, if you want a computer, you need to do this. Don't overuse it. I'm trying to make it last. And this is time for you to work individually. 